so basically Gary Casnoop is a, a search engine for video and images. Uh, it has been co-developed by two institutions, uh, the French uh, Computer Science Lab and um, an heritage institution, INA, which is in charge of uh, preservation of uh, radio and, and TV uh, content in France. Uh, it started um, in 23. Uh, it's an on ongoing project. Uh, so we now are working with INA and in INRIA on our heritage content at, at the BNF. Um, one, let me sh introduce to you uh, one of the INA use case. It's, it's very simple. They are looking for brands, uh, local brands, or very specific um, visual patterns in the TV uh, archives. Uh, quite the same use case for um, images extracted from um, from TV news. And INRIA has a very different use case. Uh, maybe some of you are using or have used PlantNet, which is um, uh, a collaborative science uh, application um, devoted to identifying and detecting uh, plant species. So we started from uh, this use case. Um, yeah, so PlantNet is a very important um, as a large, um, as a large panel of users all over the world. And as I said, it's devoted to uh, trees and, and flowers uh, identification. Um, let me skip this one um, and show you our on use case, in, in this use case, the first one, uh, we were trying to identify reproduction in newspapers of photo agency pictures. So the input is uh, uh, a picture and the output of Snoop is instances of this picture in French newspapers. And another use case is uh, this one when a user uh, input its own pictures from my mobile phone or from the web. And Gallica Snoop is able to identify Notre Dame Cathedral, um, again in newspapers, ads, or in newspapers uh, articles. And the last use case, uh, the one I'm going to uh, demonstrate uh, in a few seconds, and the last one, and, and the most ambitious, um, it's, this use case is uh, using a human in the loop principle. So here we first input uh, these um, pictures taken from, I think it was from Google images. And we are trying to find in, in the Gallica collection, uh, this kind of strange um, water bikes from the beginning of the 20th century using a couple of images from, from Google uh, image uh, search. Um, each iteration, uh, the user uh, indicates to the system its selection, a uh, green, yeah, this image looks like I, I'm looking for, and red is contrary. And at the end, we are, we are hoping to, um, to find this kind of uh, heritage um, photo agency pictures in, in our collection. Um, so we can try to uh, see the thing in action. So this, for this demonstration, I'm going to find some uh, samurai pictures in, in Gallica. If, if, I, if I use a, a basic keywords search in, in Gallica, I'm going to be very disappointed, disappointed because we only have a, a dozen of um, samurai uh, picture, at least picture which have been described by our librarian as uh, containing samurai with, with a keyword or, or a bibliographic uh, annotation. So um, using Snoop, I'm hoping to, to, to gain this kind of uh, results. So I'm, look, I'm showing you uh, the Edo cycle um, example. From, from the from my presentation. So you can see here uh, the first input image. So took a couple, I would say a couple of 
input color image from, from uh, Google image search. And the green one are the results. So I'm going to uh, now to do the same with my summary uh, use case, starting again from a Google search. So basically, this, this is the, the route, the first input on um, in my iterative um, search. I just have to annotate um, picture I'm looking for. Um, you can start from, from this one. And I'm searching, I'm searching in, in uh, Gallica Snoop and Jive for, for, I would say, image which may look like I'm, I'm looking for. And again, I have to annotate a, a couple of uh, between five to 10 images. So the red is to indicate that I'm not, I'm not looking for uh, ores or other kind of soldiers. Again, I'm iterating. Strange, strange buildings. I'm not looking for this. I'm not looking for French uh, soldiers. Uh, maybe this one is look like I'm looking for. Um, this one, no. So some more like this. I'm not looking for scalars. Um, And I think I missed something somewhere because I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not finding, I'm not finding my summarize. And John, please just a time check. The uh, alarm just went off, but in my headphones. Okay. So that was, that's been eight minutes. The last, last iteration. Um, yeah, I think I missed somewhere, something at the beginning because I, I did quite the same uh, query a few minutes before. And at the end, I was able to get this, uh, those pictures. So at the end, uh, the idea is to uh, store my, my new, um, my new query and in my in my queries for in my library queries, and each user of Ganika Snoop is able to create its own uh, queries using this um, basic uh, human in the loop principle. But I'm, I think 
today I missed something. <laughs> but this is this is the this is the idea. And generally speaking, it took us uh, between five to ten minutes, um, and between five to I would say a dozen of iteration uh, to get um, this new um, annotation, uh, new visual annotation uh, classes. So. Um, as you can see here, I was able, uh, as, again, uh, just before the presentation, uh, to find uh, between 20 to 30 uh, samurai pictures in, in, in Gallica, which basically was, not, was impossible uh, using uh, uh, word queries. So um, that's it, Tom. Do we have some, do we, do we have any question? Um, we do have, there's at least one question in chat. Uh, Eileen, we do have a, um, a time for one or two questions and then we can cut over. Eileen, do you want to ask your question out loud? Yeah, I was wondering about um, sort of you using Google search results to sort of train the algorithm initially, um, whether or not that's because there aren't enough results from just the keyword search on Gallica. And then as a follow up to that, whether or not there has been conversation around the ethics of using a Google search al algorithm, which we know to be pretty biased, although keyword search is also pretty biased, right? So I think it's, it's an interesting question and I'd like to hear more about kind of your decision-making process. Uh, actually, actually we, we, do not, we don't using, um, uh, uh, and we, we don't have a link with Google. Uh, I just use Google as uh, my, my root, uh, my first image. Um, I may have used a, a Gallica image, uh, one of the 10 uh, samurai images, which are annotated in, in Gallica, or I may, may have used um, a local file on, on my drive uh, as, a, as a start. But we, we, we didn't train anything with, with, uh, with Google uh, content. Thank you. For some reason, I thought we were looking at um, search results from Google, so that was a misunderstanding. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah. The demonstrator as a as a as a basic search uh, uh, features, which use uh, Google search, but it, it's just for demonstration. It, it's uh, basically this. This is a proof of concept. Uh, Nothing more. Jean-Philippe, this is, this is a great demonstration. I really like the interaction um, with the, the end user to be able to refine the results. It's more powerful and different than uh, searching images just by keywords. Uh, I'm also impressed by the number of French soldiers in the collections of the BNF. <laughs> it looks like a collection, a, a collection strength. But we, we also have a, a lot of uh, ASEAN uh, engraving. So that's why I try to use my samurai use case. All right, that's great. Thank you. <laughs>